<laughs> I got them. And the fucking attachments, like there's attachments. Oh shit. There's attachments on them, like that they put on your teeth for the trace to attach to, because they can't just stay on your teeth. And there's a lot of them, and some of them are like right in the front. So I'm like, fuck. That's what you can see. You can't really see the trays, but you can see the attachments under the trays. That's what like pokes out. So that's what's really weird, you know? So I was like, fuck, why do I have to have so many? I thought it was just four. I thought it was like one, two, three, four, you know? But no, I got like a lot. But they feel really uncomfortable, but they don't hurt. A lot of people said they're gonna hurt, like they hurt the first couple days. Cause you're supposed to change the trays every two weeks. And they were like, yeah, every time you get a new tray, it hurts, like, the first couple of days. I'm like, fucking, they're pussies, because this shit does not hurt. It's just really uncomfortable, because you're not, you know, used to it. So, it moves your teeth, like, literally. And I feel like I have a lisp now. Fuck. So, um, but she said, like, I'll get better at talking, so that's what the lady said that worked there, but I don't know. We'll see, but I feel like I have a lisp, because like I don't know I should if I got these earlier I probably wouldn't have the lisp on the camera because remember my old camera like now I have a new one not this this is my phone but like on my main channel I filmed I used to film this uh, camcorder now I have like a DSLR the camcorder always made my S's really really loud and a lot of people comment on my videos and be like ew it's so annoying she says her S is so loud and I really don't in real life but it was just the fucking camera so I guess like it would cancel out if I had Invisalign back then with that stupid ass camera, then my S's wouldn't be so loud because now I feel like I can't even say the S's. Like straight. So I feel like I can't say them. I feel like I have a lisp. Lisp. God damn it. See? So I have two attachments in here. One here, one here, one here, but not on this one. See, there's one there, and then the bottom, I just got one, and then there's like two right there. So they're all different. I guess they're just like, she said, they go on your teeth on the ones that need more movement, so whatever the fuck that means. I was like, does that mean they're crooked as fuck? She was like, no. So I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So, fuck, I feel like an idiot. Fuck. Well, I'll just have to get used to it because I've been wanting this for so many years that, oh well, you know. Okay, I'm going to go and get food with my boyfriend because I'm so hungry. I have to pop them off for eating too, like stupid ass fucking shit. But, you know, that's what you gotta do. So, haha. -ha. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, guys. So, today's Sunday and it's the first day that it has not been hurting this shit. Like, I got it Wednesday, so it's been Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It hurt for four days. And I thought it was going to be like two. They said two, three days. And it was like four. And I mean, if this is going to happen every two weeks that I replace the trays, it's not going to be very fun at all. Like, I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe it was just because it's the first time and I'm just still getting used to it. I don't know. Used to it. I still talk funny. I still can't get used to it. But whatever. Okay, a little update on the Invisalign. So, I first... They were all hurting, right? But now it's just the bottoms, and it's been like a week. Today's Friday. I got them last Wednesday, so like a week and two days. And I think the bottoms they hurt because they need to be pushed back. Because literally, I keep doing this with my tongue, like push them forward, because it makes it hurt less. But if I don't, I just you know the the tops don't hurt at all, but the bottoms they just feel like they're being pushed back. And I think that's because he said I have a weird bite because he was like, your teeth basically are not that fucked up where you need it for very long. Like, ideally without the weird bite, you would only need a Invisalign for like four to five months. But since your bite is so weird, you need it for like nine to 13 months. And apparently I have a weird bite. I don't know what it is. I've never noticed it before. I've never had anyone tell me anything is wrong with it. Like, it clearly... Like, I don't, it's, it doesn't look weird. It's not like, you know, some people are like, ooh, or like, you know, they have like that. Like, it doesn't look weird. I've never had anyone tell me that. I've never felt anything wrong. But, with that being said, I also want to say that, like, he mentioned that if it doesn't correct in the first few weeks, he might give me those fucking rubber bands. 
they'll be like in the back though hopefully that you wouldn't see them but hopefully i don't fucking even get them at all because i don't want that shit like that just sounds uncomfortable and ugly and i don't want that shit but we'll see so um yeah i think they just want to get more money out of you but hopefully my teeth start straightening out where i don't need that but that's a quick update on that and oh and i also found <clears throat> this cleaning solution for them because cleaning them alone with the toothbrush was not helping that much they were still kind of like started to get a build up on them just like your own teeth like with plaque and stuff like that so <clears throat> I, they told me about the uh, this cleaning stuff the first day i was getting these so i forgot about it and then i called back and asked and i went to buy this afrodent it's like a cleaner for dentures and then you buy some uh, hydrogen peroxide, you put them in the hydrogen peroxide and you drop a half a tablet of the effortant in it and it cleans that shit so much. I tried it and it's so much better than cleaning them with a brush. Like it gets everything off, they're fresh, they don't smell, like it's perfect. I mean, they don't smell anyway if you clean them right, but you know, it just gets them cleaner so much faster and you don't have to sit there and scrub them. So that's a good tip. And um, they said to do that about a week like once a week but I think I'll be doing it more than that because I don't know like I don't feel like sitting there scrubbing them all the time like of course I clean them a few times a day with a brush but I don't feel like that's enough sometimes so because it's hard to get with the brush into like all the crooks and crevices so yeah that's another tip hey guys I just put in the second tray of my Invisalign it's been two weeks today is Wednesday and it does hurt a little bit especially on the bottom but it's not terrible yet. But I remember the last time I got, you know, the first tray, the first day it wasn't bad. And then the second day it really hurt. So I'm just gonna see how this one goes. It took me like a, a week to get over the pain of the last one. You know, not two, three days like they said. And about day 10, I was like in no pain at all. Like, cause it wasn't like, okay, the first week it was like painful, but then after that it was just tender. And then like day 10, I would say almost when it was almost at 10, um, at two weeks, like four days before I had to change to this shape, it was just fine. Like I didn't even feel them on. So hopefully this one is not going to take that long because I really don't want to be in pain for a week every time I have to change the fucking trays. So we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to give you that update and I'm trying to talk with like, like the S's so I don't have the lisp. It's really hard, but I'll try Okay, quick update about my Invisalign. So now I have my second tray and I actually have had it for like a week. I just forgot to do this video. But I thought it was going to hurt again like really, really bad. And actually it doesn't. Like the first tray hurt so much. They were like, oh, it only lasts like two, three days. Bullshit. That shit hurt for like a week and a half. Like 10 days, literally. I was like always in pain constantly like 24 7 it was so bad especially when i ate even like you know it's just they were super tender not just tender but like they fucking hurt even when that shit was in i just i was like fuck this shit and then i you know had a couple of days where um you know like four days till i had to put my fuck i just ran out of space but i would what i was saying was i had like four days and where it didn't hurt and i was thinking it was gonna hurt again when i put the second tray in but it only hurt for like maybe two three days just like they said and now it only hurts if i take it out i don't even fill it in only if i take it out to eat and put it right back in it will hurt for like maybe 20 minutes or something like that but it's really not a bad like experience yay i just put in my third invisalign training today so i've been wearing it for a month now you know and it doesn't even seem like that long it's crazy and what's good about this is it doesn't hurt like i was expecting it to hurt so much every time but it didn't it's not hurting me at all like people say usually when they change the trays every two weeks they like to sleep with them and uh pop a tylenol because it hurts so much so i was prepared but it doesn't hurt at all the first like 10 days of just wearing it like the first tray was the worst but now it's fine like i don't know I'm not in pain at all hey guys little update so i got three more trays at the orthodontist um, for the next six weeks so yeah he looks at me it seemed fine like I was fitting into them like I was wearing them enough and all that but um, I'm still kind of scared about the whole rubber bands thing he didn't say anything about it this time but the guy that was putting it on or like you know fitting the trays for me because one of the attachments broke off he was doing an attachment I asked him about it and he was like yeah you're probably gonna get them so I'm like not looking forward to that I don't want any rubber bands fuck that but I don't know we'll see I mean I'd rather have a correct vibe, but they just look so ugly and uncomfortable and just 
annoying to have to put back on. These are already annoying enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking mess. Hey guys, I wanted to do another update on my Invisalign. I'm currently on trade 7 and so far it's been awesome. Like, the only thing I don't like is that of course you have to take it out all the time, but also that it discolors very easily. Um, like, it's so hard not to drink or eat, like, with it. Like, anything you drink, even with a straw, if you, like, discolors it, it's so annoying. But other than that, it doesn't hurt anymore. Like, people told me when you change the tray out every two weeks, it's going to hurt. It doesn't. And my lisp kind of went away. I feel like it's not totally gone. Like, I don't sound like I do when I take it out, but it doesn't sound as bad as it did at first anymore. So it's pretty good. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I don't have much to say. Um, only thing is that if you leave it out for more than two hours a day, it does eventually catch up with you. And right now I feel like I've got a little bit of air on the top. So last time I saw the orthodontist, he told me that if that happens, I might want to keep this straight in for a little bit longer. So I might have to keep this one in for like another extra week instead of two weeks. And that way I'll catch up with it and everything will be fine. So, but other than that, everything's going perfectly. And I did do a whole video about my Invisalign experience and everything like that. Answer all your, your questions on my main channel. So go watch that. I will link it down below for you guys. And subscribe to my main channel if you haven't yet. So yeah, that's a very lengthy video. But this is more of like a vlogging one. And this will be my part one and I will be doing a part two once I am done with the Invisalign treatment completely. So that will be up at the very end because I don't have much to say right now. I feel like, you know, it's like pretty much the same thing every two weeks. So yeah, but yeah, so that's it. So watch that video and I'll see you next time. Bye.